On a rainy Monday in May of 2023, weather was threatening plans to ban a bald eagle nestling. A little bit of rain we can handle, but mostly looking for lightning. So we're at Sholo Lake. We're proceeding to the bald eagle nest here, which is just down at the other end of the lake. We've got a good spot right now where the, the rain has let up, so we're, we're looking good at the moment. So right here in this tall snag is the, their old nest, the one they've been using that we can't climb. Now the bald eagles have moved their nest to a live tree that's safe to climb. During nesting season, part of the lake close to the nest is closed to the public. It just gives the eagles a little bit of buffer between their nesting activities and the human activities that go on out here, like boating and fishing and kayaking and stuff. So it just gives them a little extra space. Here in Arizona, we have a small, kind of isolated population of them. It's important to us to make sure that you know, these nesting attempts are successful and we're doing everything that we can to make sure that we're helping the species. I'll be climbing up to the nest. Um, once I get there, I'll grab the nestling. The adults will often fly around, they'll make some noise. They're not happy about the situation, but they're not gonna try to come after us or anything. You know, each climb is a little bit different. You never quite know what to expect. Getting into this nest is not going to be straightforward, just warning you. The nest is probably about chest height, so it was a little bit difficult to reach the nestling, so I ended up using a stick to kind of corral it towards me, but it worked out. <laughs> Secured. All right, buddy boy. You're okay. He was a feisty, <laughs> yeah. Once I could grab his feet, um, you know, I had good control of him, but he definitely didn't want to get the hood on. He was trying to bite me and... <laughs> Ready, pull in. Yep. Go. After the nestling is Clear. secured in a padded duffel bag, right Jennifer carefully lowers it to Kyle. We try to ban the nestlings when they're about six weeks old, five and a half to six weeks old. And then grab those legs with your right hand. They're old enough that they can handle a little bit of stress being away from their parents for, you know, an hour or two. Um, but young enough that they don't have it in their mind that they can jump out of that nest. They're not ready to jump. <laughs> they're halfway towards fledging age, so they're, they're not even close to thinking about flight yet. Left leg lateral tarsus, 10.8. So anything under 12.5 is a male. Okay. Anything above that is a female. Females are bigger. Okay. They get a silver U.S. Fish and Wildlife Band, but also a blue visual ID band. The blue band is easier to read from a distance, and it will help biologists identify the eagle throughout its lifetime. I'm going to measure the beak. And we're able to really keep track of where our birds are moving around throughout the state, or if they end up breeding, nesting in the state, we can tell exactly where they're born and get a really good idea of life history and what's going on with the population. He's right at three kilograms. It's pretty good. After the nestling has been banded, Bill, a local resident who's been monitoring the nest, poses for a photo with the young eagle. So we just try to douse some, some water to cool him down. One male nestling, he looked good. He was three kilograms, which is good for a male. It looked like he had a full crop, so that's that kind of pouch in their throat where they store food. So that meant he had a, a lot to eat today, so that was also a good sign. It was a pretty good looking nest. Um, didn't have any fishing line or any hazards in it, which was great. When it's about 12 weeks old, this young bald eagle will be ready to fly. Until then, he relies on mom and dad, who will return to the nest soon after the biologists have left the area. Mission accomplished, it's good to be done. It never gets old.